Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Cat, back with another perfume review. So, um, if you haven't noticed, I'm recording these videos um, separately and back to back to back. So, yeah, if you notice, if you notice, if you peeped. So, today I have to review uh, the, but these are all perfumes I got recently, back to back to back too. So, like, I mean, it makes sense to record them back to back to back as well, too. So, yeah. But anyway, so I am reviewing the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Perfume. I had this perfume, I know, as a dupe from Dossier at one point in time. I don't think I had the bottle. I have the bottle anymore, but I know I've had it as a dupe. So it's, I'm glad to actually let's test it out and get the real one. First of all, I got the gift set and it came, I don't have to package anymore. I had to throw, I threw away the packaging. So, you know, it wasn't very extravagant. I got it from Macy's. It wasn't very like, ooh, ah, to keep anyway. So, you know, it was okay. It was pretty cool, but yes. But I got the gift set. I think this is the biggest bottle they have, not the one ounce, but I got, it came with like this golden shimmery type of elixir with it as well too so I was like "Ooh, this is gonna look really good on my skin especially if I wear this in the summertime uh let's go ahead and try that all out now so you guys can get a good feel for the body oil um you get like a little shimmer I don't know if you guys can see that You get like a little shimmer, but not like too crazy when it dries down. You do notice it in the sunlight, but it's nothing like too, too crazy with the shimmer. But, you know, like something scented like this and then plus you layer on top of the perfume, you can't go wrong. That's a, like a double, a double whammy win right there. So, so this belongs from Sephora. It belongs in the floral family. The keynotes are Tubro, Jasmine, and Taka Bean. So... When I got, when I sprayed the perfume, the opening is very loud, very bold, and you would think it would be too much of an overpowering scent when you first spray it. And it kind of is just a tad bit, a little bit, and it kind of gives off a little bit more of a masculine smell in the very opening of it. And let me just talk about the, for, for just a quick second, the spray of it, the spray. It's very like a fine mist. I don't know if you guys could see that, but... Well, that wasn't bad. It's a very like fine type of mist. I don't want to spray too much now. But it's a very fine mist perfume. So you can like be able to spray everywhere. But yes. To be honest, I did like, I did, originally I thought I was not going to like it. Because I was like, I, even with the dupe I had, uh, I thought I was not going to like it. Because I was like, it's kind of very, giving off very masculine. I was like, uh, I don't know about this. But, but in the dry down. And when it dries down, when it's all said and done, it is a sexy, a little bit of bold type of perfume. It really is. So it does have like more darker tones to the perfume. Uh, I can smell. It doesn't have a manly scent when it dries down. It's very sensual. I do smell the jasmine. I do smell the floral, but it's more of a sexy type of floral. I would definitely describe this more of a night type of scent. Um, it's not something personally me I would wear every day. And I do wear it out even if I'm just out and about, you know, whatever. I don't wait till, you know, I go out to something at night to wear it, no. But I can't see it being an everyday fragrance. I can't, I can't see it being an everyday fragrance, but to me it's, it has more of a sexy, seductive tone. And I would just kind of use it for the nighttime only. Um, the long, the project, the, how it projects is pretty medium. It's not too, too loud. It's not too light either. It's kind of just like medium to maybe a little bit more of the, it does project pretty, it does project pretty well. So it's not too overbearing, but it's not too light. So it's kind of medium or kind of like more of a little bit more of a, I guess between large and medium type of project projection I got from this perfume um and you guys know I'm an over sprayer so I do I am going to over spray it up so you're going to smell it on me if you walk past me the longevity on it it does have a pretty good lasting power on it um I think I got about maybe a good six hours out of it I could say um would I buy this perfume again yes I would 
um but i would if you're not looking because it is the the just for the bottle alone it can cost around and i always try to buy the big bottle because i know over spray so the one ounce just isn't going to cut cut for me and like, i must i have to have like a, and i do have a, quite a bit of perfumes but still i i do like the over spray so one ounce was not going to cut it for me so can't see me buying this but also the dupe i think from dossier where i bought it from um the dupe from dossier also would be a good recommendation too if you're not looking to spend those big bucks the dupe that i had received for, the dupe that I, I used to have from dossier you could buy the dupe i would say so if this when this runs out would i get the dupe instead probably it's not my most favorite spray to be honest it's not like oh my gosh i just have to have it you know it's my top 10 but i do see why people like it it's very seductive it's sensual it's a nighttime fragrance it has a good projectivity to it it has it's part of the floral family i do smell the jasmine um would i recommend it yes absolutely but for me i wouldn't buy the real thing again but that's just me and my honest opinion but yes but that is it for the video if you guys liked it please like and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it and as always it's your girl cat signing out bye Mwah.